Concrete Genie isn't going to take up too much of your time getting through the game's main story. It also won't run your wallet dry either, coming in at $30 for the base edition and $40 for the digital deluxe edition, but its beautiful art style, charming character interactions, and relatable tale make it worth 5-7 to seven hours you'll give it. Although I was left wanting more, the game delivered an unexpected emotional experience that I feel outweighs the negatives overall. The story is nothing grand, but it feels effective at touching topics of environmental issues, fitting in with your peers, and being true to yourself no matter the consequence. You play as a young boy named Ash, accompanied by his art book, being pretty much the only thing he wants to do. However, bullies in the town consistently pick on him and also act as the supporting cast throughout the game. Things ramp up and begin where the bullies tear up Ash's art book, sending all the pages into the game's world of Denska, which was once a haven for fond memories and bright childhoods to not only Ash but the bullies as well, but now act as a place for darkness to reside and is in a gloomy state. Ash is sent on his way to the lighthouse by said bullies and upon arrival and notices his pages are acting in strange ways as if they are alive for themselves. It's revealed that the drawings in Ash's art book have come to life in the form of genies that appear on the walls around him and he has the power to interact with them and create more genies to help him along the way via his brush. Told by the first genie in the game named Luna, Ash is tasked with painting the darkness of Denska away and restoring it to its lively state that it used to be. With the game throwing a few wrenches in the plot and offering some good emotional moments, the story ends up where you'd expect it anyway. However, it's the moments in between the beginning and the end that really make this game special in my eyes. Concrete Genie's main gameplay consists of painting the walls of Denska as you clean up the city. At first, I thought the motion controls, which are the default, with the controller to paint would be a big gimmicky, but they actually felt fun and intuitive to use for me personally. However, if you will not use those motion controls, the game also allows you to use the sticks instead, which is always nice to see. As you move across Denska, the boys will be on patrol and you'll have to evade or lure them into certain areas to get to areas that you need to go to, which felt kind of odd and forced but not that big of a deal as they really are easy to manage. What was fun to manage was all my genies from designing them to making different types of genies to suit the challenge. Challenge I needed to overcome. Whether it be an electric genie, fire genie, or wind genie, they all worked really well and offered some cool moments. However, sometimes you'd have to clear out specific types of dark splotches on the wall with super paint provided by the genies for painting what they want to see on the wall. From the northern lights to trees, butterflies, the game does a really good job at making your art look beautiful even if you are artistically challenged. And the ability to paint more items and looks made going for Arsha's art book pages around the world that more enjoyable to see what else I could paint. While looking stunning in 4K on PS4 Pro, the game also lets you prefer a lower resolution if need be. However, I didn't love the game's map. The look was meant to fit in line with it being a part of Ash's art book with different colored pages and tabs, but it looked messy and unclear to me, so using it was a bit of a hassle, however, not impossible. As to not spoil the circumstances, combat is introduced into the game in the end half of the game that didn't utilize the best controls but did at least offer the player cool ways at using the different elements to be successful by requiring you to use a specific element to take down an enemy shield via the different genies that you created throughout the game. Understanding that this game isn't a big budget AAA experience, I wish I got a little more time with the second half and the combat a bit more. My biggest takeaway about Concrete Genie is how well the game portrayed the bond between Ash and the genies. Throughout the game, Ash will playfully scare the genie and vice versa. It makes the genie feel like they are truly a part of Ash and it's done so genuinely well. Overall, Concrete Genie is a really neat game that has intuitive motion controls that are so hard to nail nowadays. Its story is small but has big ties to issues growing up and coming to terms with past hardships and how they shaped you to the person you are today. Although it's a small game and let me wanting to play more, especially when the game opens up towards the end, if you got 5-7 to seven hours to burn and value story, Concrete Genie is well worth the low price. However, don't go in expecting this game to take up too much of your time and be deep in gameplay systems for some that's a deal breaker but to me the game nailed what it sought out to do and i was happy with the end result of concrete genie and while this fall 2019 game release season is packed with call of duty modern warfare dead stranding star wars jedi fallen order destiny 2 shadow keep the list goes on i implore you to not look over concrete genie as it's a nice experience that i feel that a lot of people will like if you just give it a shot and i'm hoping pixel opens 
gets a crack at another title in the world of Concrete Genie in the PS5 or PSVR or PS4, etc. And that is my review on Karki Genie. And if you're watching this and have played the game, let me know what you thought about the game down below in the comments. Are you one that agrees? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And make sure also while you are down there to check our description where you can find our Twitter and Discord as well as our anchor link to listen to our long form content, including Road to Part 2, as well as Cross Circle Podcast on a weekly basis. Like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as stay subscribed to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.